Hello everyone. So this is the third part of the Thunder system I'm working on. So today let's mainly work on the sound effects. How to add sound effects uh, to the system. And also do some variations so to the Thunder as well. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. We have the lighting effects like this, and it appears in different locations of the sky randomly. So, today we are going to add variations to the thunder effect, and also we are going to work on sound effects for the rain and thunder. Okay, so first. In Photoshop I found another texture like this so I'm gonna use this one and to match with this I'm gonna change this mask texture that I had used previously so let me save it mask and let me save this other thunder texture lighting two okay now let me go back to the engine right let me re-import the mask okay let me test everything is working after the change of mask right it works fine okay now let me import the other texture okay now here I'll convert this to a parameter So here, now when the thunder strikes, I'll get the thunder plane, set texture, no, um, here let me collapse this note, change text. So again, okay, get the play. So we need create dynamic material instance. Let me promote this to a variable. So I don't think we have to create this always so we can get a reference and see if we if we have a valid object here. So it is valid. If not valid we can create a dynamic instance, otherwise we can just use it. So after that anyway what I have to do is get this and set texture. parameter value and here we have to use thunder texture the same name that I have used here and as the value we can do a select node so here I define a random integer in red at the moment I have only two textures so is this inclusive okay option one 
lighting one option two lighting two all right now let's see we got one same thing okay we got a different one all right same Okay, it is working as intended. And the next part is sounds. Right, uh, let me go create a new folder for audio. And I have the rain sound and the lightning strike sound. I set the rain sound to blue. And lighting doesn't have to loop. And also, I need don't need to add any um, attenuation settings here because this is thunder, so it should be equally heard from all the places because it's a very loud sound so I'll just drag and drop the rain sound here because it should be sort of there without any dynamic and for the thunder here when I Where should we play it? What if I play it here? Because, uh, oh wait, but uh, we should hear the sound uh, after seeing the light. So let's play sound 2D. Lighting is right. Actually, the delay is a bit too much. So I just play it here. Oh, location doesn't matter. Play sound to Well, it would matter if we have stereo songs, but for now, let's just play it. I think now we have to increase this duration because otherwise we will hear the next thunder before the previous thunder sound is not stopped.
that i'm gonna stop this episode so yeah actually i think that's all i want to work on rain and thunder for now uh, but i'm gonna try and implement a thunder effect with niagara particle system as well so okay let's see what we can do with that in another episode and project files will be available for the download here in patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye hello everyone today we are going to work on this uh, thunder effect uh, in, in this uh, rain series and unit so let's first see how to implement this thunder effect and then after that let's see how to implement this uh, dynamic lighting change then after that let's see how to add variations to the thunderbolt uh, extra thunderbolt effect and then we will see how to do sound effects so first part i will work on the thunderbolt itself so 